Uh, hi guys, here in uh, Kepi, Nasra State, that's Nasra State University, we just concluded an installation of 6 kilowatt inverter with 5 kilowatt hour lithium battery from uh, Seawatt. The inverter is Seawatt, Why the battery also is Seawatt. You know, this is a regular brand I've been using. I wouldn't say anything much about this. I've connected my communication cable make to make sure that the inverter is communicating with the battery. So let me take you inside to show you the amount of appliances this system is carrying presently or this system will be powering within the next 10 years. Come with me. Yeah, this is the hall. Everything working in this hall right now is working from this very inverter which I just showed you guys. Uh, here we have, I don't know the size of this very TV, but this is a smart board which is used for lecturing. The inverter will be powering this. And here we have a one horsepower AC that is working presently also from that inverter. And we have another AC also at the back. You can see this one is on. Um, and then this one also is on. And these two ACs, including the fans, if you observe the fan is running, this one is running. I don't know why this one is not on. We have some lighting points. Everything in this hall will be working from the six kilowatts inverter with a five kilowatt hour lithium battery. I know a lot of question is now popping through your mind because most of you will be like, ah, that's just five kilowatt hour lithium battery. Is it possible to power some of these things? It's very, very possible. And I have to explain it to them already. If they power up everything, it will take them like two hours to drain that five kilowatt hour lithium battery from, you know, 100% down to 20%, yes, down to 20%. So anytime uh, they, they want to use the system for long, they'll put their ACs off and use their fan. So mostly the system will be depending on the grid. This is a grid type system because for now there is no solar panels. They don't have fun for solar panels yet. Uh, but I think within the next one or two months, they'll be adding solar panels. And the reason why we use 5 kilowatt hour lithium battery is because this hall is a lecture hall and it will mostly work during the daytime. So if we introduce solar panels into this system, it means the whole system will depend more on the solar panels than the battery because the lecture time might start around 8 down to maybe 4 in the evening or 5 in the evening. And with enough solar panels, our solar panels can cover this you know, period of time and the battery will not you know, overwork. So if you have something like this or you want to pass something like this, you can actually go with the 5 kilowatt hour lithium battery with 6 kilowatt inverter. Like I told you guys, all this amount of energy will be consuming like 2,000 watts here. Everything on right now, the inverter is displaying 2 uh, kVA, which is 2,000 watts. And with 2,000 watts, if they are consuming that 2,000 watts per hour, for the next 2 hours or 2 hours, 40 minutes, the battery will go off because at 80%, we can only consume 4,800 watts. So let's check on the inverter screen the amount of energy we are draining presently. Let it not be as if I'm just saying theories. Let's check it out. Okay, it have now increased to 2,300 watts. That is more than what I expected. I think we have more energy consumption than I thought. And uh, the amount of current that is being drained from the battery is 50 amp per hour. That's cool, not too bad. Then uh, let's see what is left in the battery. We have 49% left in the battery. So like I said, this is a grid tie system. Here we have our AC breaker, we have our AC SPD, and we have our surge protector. This system will depend on nepal lights for the battery to charge. So once we put this on, you know, our battery will be charging. So for now, for the next one or two months, this system will depend on grid for this battery to charge. And once the battery is filled, if you are consuming up to this 2,300 watts per hour, it will take them about two hours, 40 minutes to drain this battery. But with, you know, little amount of consumption, like for 1,500 watts, then it will take them up to four hours before they will drain this battery down to 20%.